Another thing that we always talk about uh, with digital fabrication is closed paths and open paths. Let me show you what I mean. I have prepared these paths right over here. Consider these paths as shapes that are going to be taken out of a material as you see in this image. We can clearly see there's an opening on the path. When you're using a laser, the laser head is actually going to be following this path. So if it's cutting all the way, and if it's not cutting in, in between these lines, then you're not going to be able to take your piece out. So to fix this issue, um, you can just select your vector. You can click um, Direct Selection tool, zoom in, select individually the anchors by themselves by press and shift down and then go to object path join you can also do this with command j here we go now it's closed so in this whole file it looks like everything is closed but this is not always easy to see so another way to check is you can click on window and then select document info and this little window will open. In the document info, I am going to make sure that I open the options. I'm going to click the selection only and then I'm going to make sure the object is also selected. I want to see if I have any open paths. So I'm selecting all of my artboard and in here it's reporting to me that I have one open um, path, open vector. So this happens sometimes because of the fill. So I can get rid of the fill and then here we are. I can see it very well. Here's a different and easier way to join um, certain paths. You can just select the vector all together and then do the join command which is command J and it's joined together. Let me show that one more time. I don't have to go in to the anchors. I can just create a window all around to select the whole vector. And then I'm going to do command J, which is under also object, path, and join. So let's double check if I still have any open paths. So I selected it and here we are on the document. Everything is closed.